Hello, students. Welcome to our English class. How are you today? How are you? Do you listen? Yes. Hello. Hi, good evening. Hello, guys. Welcome. It's a pleasure to have you here again, ready to study English and practice, because we know that in every class we have the opportunity to practice at night. This is a very challenging time because, you know, some of you are active, very active. But some mothers are like, you know what, teacher, I feel a little sleepy. But remember that this time is important to study. After you study, you go to bed. And, but you have energy for tomorrow's day. And welcome you all. I know that um, we have studied because I know that you are very responsible. And I know that we will make a difference about what we do in our English class. And uh, we're going to start today with this part. Let's see. Before that we start the class, I just want to ask you, what do you remember we studied in the class? What do you remember we studied? ¿Qué estudiamos? Who wants to help me to remember what we did? The grid. This? Sorry? Jobs? De los jobs. Dangerous jobs. Dangerous jobs, okay. What else? Thank you. What else we did? ¿Qué más hicimos? Something else? I don't remember, teacher. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. Well, let's continue with the with the part of the class. We will talk a little bit about time expressions. That is very simple. And this is like the beauty conference number four, section number two. And there are valuable information that we will discuss today here in the class. We go on with the first part. We have the simple present WH equations and the statements. The one of the topics that we have studied uh, during this week's during this week, by the way, and also I want you to check these things. So the question is, are you ready? Yes? Yes, I'm ready. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, simple present W is questions. We have some questions with WH, like what, where, when, how, which, etc. Look at the first example. What do you do? Como qué haces? Para preguntar acerca de qué haces de tu trabajo, right? That is the, the goal about this question. I'm a student and I have a part-time job. That is a possible example. Number two, where do you work? I work at in a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. You can see the example. I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. So you can see some common questions um, related to your jobs, to, related to what people do. And we have, for example, you work, take, study, teach, do, go, have. And he and she works, takes, studies, teaches, does, goes, and has. We call them uh, the third person and the first person's and plurals. Uh, Jonathan Vladimir. Eh, hola. Hi. Yo solo... Tenía una pregunta. En la pregunta donde dice, where do you go to school? Eh, se refiere a, a qué, dónde estudias. Exactly. The location, the, the, the name of the place, the place. Where do you go to school? Um, and in this case, the answer is the University of Texas. Yeah. Ah, ok. Solamente. Yes. All right. Ok. We know about the location, the place, where in El Salvador, in Mexico, in this place. So we talk about that. And also we have uh, the possible answers. I work at, uh, at a school or I work in a school. Um, 
I take some tours to Mexico, etc. And also, I want you to help me to complete the following things. Complete these conversations, then practice with a partner. What do you do? I'm a full-time student. I study the violin. And, uh, ¿cuál creen que sería aquí la, sería what, where, how, which one? So think about it and also try to complete it. Later, we will socialize these answers. So I will give you um, some minutes, like two or three minutes, two minutes to complete this exercise. And then we will socialize the answers together. Entonces, completémoslo. Y cuando yo diga eh, finished, vamos a revisar qué respuestas tiene. Let's go. Okay, let's see together the answers we have. The first one, um, what do you do? I'm a full-time student. I study the violin. And look at the possible answer for a letter A. What do you think uh, we need? Where? And? Where do you do? Where do you do? Where do you, Where do you do? Where do, you, where, where do you go to school? Where do you go to school? Ah, okay. Where do you go to school? Where do you do go where to school? school? Where do you go to school? That that would be the best choice. Where do you no, go to where? school? See, si. yes. And the answer is where do I you go to a school. Okay, where do you go to school? And the answer is I I go. I go. Mm -hmm. Yes. To, to the New York. School of Music. Uh-huh. Wow. 
Okay. What? What do you like? How do you like? like? How? How, how do you like? Ah, how do you like? Ah, how? Do you like? Ah, how? Okay. How do you like your classes? Okay. I like them a lot. Okay. Good. So this is a good question when we want to know if people like or not. How do you like your classes? Ah, uh, I love them or I like them. Oh, a lot. Right. Okay, excellent. Number two, what Tanya do? What does, what does, Tanya, does Tanya, do? Tanya do? What does Tanya do? Okay. And she's a teacher. She she, she works. Teaches. She takes she teach, she teaches teach. an art teaches. class. Okay, she teaches an art she class. Okay. Takes. Mm -hmm. She's She's a teacher. She's she uh, teaches on her class at a school in Denver. And what about Ryan? Where? Where does, where does he, work? he work? Excellent. Where does he work? He uh, works for a big computer company. Mm -hmm. She works for a works. big computer company. Where? In San Francisco, right? Mm -hmm. And the next one is, does he do? What does he do exactly? Yes. What does he do exactly? Yes. Um, he's a website designer. He. He is. Fantastic. Uh, he's fantastic. Mm. He's fantastic websites or think Create. about it. He creates uh -huh, fantastic websites. Okay, that makes sense. He creates, yeah. Or he designs too. That's okay. That is acceptable. So we could He's complete. Designing. He designs um, fantastic websites. So th this could be another possible choice about this part. Questions about this? Or any comments related to one of the statements? Vocabulary words? No. It's okay. All right. Okay, let's go to the next part. Look at this one. And it says, pair works. What do you know about these jobs? Complete the chart, then write sentences about each job. For example, a flight attendant works for an airline assist passengers, and search drinks. So look at that. And what about a doctor? Think about um, some sentences about each job. For example, a doctor mentioned three things that a doctor does or something that is related to a doctor and also a teacher. Think about it. Help people. Attend yes. patients. Attend patients. Excellent. What else? Continue. Continue. Works in a hospital. Works in a hospital. All right. Excellent. What else? Receta medicamentos, pero no sé cómo se dice. Receta. No me acuerdo. Medicine. Okay. Prescribe medicine. Or medic. Yeah. What else? What else about a doctor? Yes. Check our, our body. Excuse me? Check our body. Okay. 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 Now give me more ideas about a teacher. Tell me about a teacher. What do you what do you know? Give me some things about a teacher. Oh, teacher, uh, teacher, teacher, people, English. Teach people a subject. Hmm. 
Okay, Kesson, teacher, give me some ideas about it. Make, make, oh, no sé si es make or do exams. Okay, make exams. Okay, excellent. Make exams. Uh, teacher, different subjects. Uh huh, yes. Teacher, what to read? Uh, teaches to read. Teaches to read and write. Yes. Go to the classroom. Go to to the classroom. Uh, works in a school. Excellent. Okay, help people and guide people uh, to, to know about values, organize material for the class, make some plannings for teaching, stay on time at school, and also assist the students to be professionals in life. There are different uh, also things that we can discuss about, about a job. I know that we have different jobs. So it's important to, you know, to know a little bit about some jobs. At the end of the class, if we have some time, we will describe some other jobs like the ones you are doing. And also we can build a description about some jobs. Let's see the next part. Look at this one. The topic is, uh, for this case, a time expression. Look at that one, time expressions. And we have some sentences. I need a volunteer for helping me to read this information, exactly this one. Who wants to help me to read it? Someone that says, me, teacher. Help me to read. Me, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Time expressions. I get up at seven in the morning on week weekend days. I go to bed around ten in the evening on weeknights. I leave work early in the afternoon on weekends. I get home late at night on Fridays. I stay up until midnight on Saturdays. I wake up before afternoon on Sundays. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, so we can see here some time expressions that when we say I get up at, when we are talking about time, we use at, at four o'clock, at 5 p.m., at 6 a.m., at 7 a.m. Always we will use at for some specific time, like seven, at six, at four, at 10, at noon, at nine. For example, cuando dice en la noche, usted no va a decir in the night, okay, at nine, at noon. And also I go to bed around 10. So that means that is, Around is like not in a specific time, but it's very close to 10, around six, around seven, around nine. I Then we have early, late, until midnight. Que es para nosotros como decir hasta. I just stayed up until midnight. Es decir, que yo me desvelo hasta la medianoche. Entonces, I stayed up until midnight. Look at the example. Look at the example at midnight. And I wake up before or after, you know, those are like adverse. Look at that. Adverse of time. And in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon, at night, on Saturdays and Sundays. Acuérdense que vamos a utilizar on exclusivamente cuando hablamos de las días de la semana. El lunes va a decir on Monday, on Monday, on Tuesday on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday, on Saturday. So we're talking about 
um, this part, right? Look at this example. Okay, so we can check this part here. Vamos bien ahí? Yes? Are we okay? Yes. Entonces, por eso está on weekdays, on weeknights, on weekends, on Fridays. So we use on because we're talking about weeks. Okay, that is that one. So after this um, valuable details, I want you to do the next thing. Complete these sentences with the time expressions. I get up and then you say at, in, on, according to the vocabulary, in the morning, weekend, weekdays. I go to bed, midnight, uh, weeknights. I have lunch, three, the afternoon Fridays. I stay up 1 a.m. weekends. I have a little snack, nine, the evening. I sleep noon Sundays. Okay, take a short time to um, to answer this one, please. Do me the favor. And meanwhile, you work in this exercise, we will check the attendance list. So you listen your name and you say present, please. Vamos a pasar la asistencia aprovechando mientras ustedes trabajan en este ejercicio. Así que eh, give me one second, please. Mientras eh, los voy llamando y ustedes dicen present. Okay, students, let's check the attendance list. Um, Adriana Gretel Gonzalez. Here. Uh, Agustin Alexander Santa Maria. Agustin Alexander. Uh, Andrea Esmeralda Alvarez Escobar. Present. Um, Araceli Esmeralda Ventura Vasquez. Present. Eh, Carmen Andrea Santos Martínez. Present. Eh, Claudia Jocelyn Rivas Arevalo. Present. Eh, Denis Alonso Marinero Gutiérrez. Present. Eh, Francisco And Alexander Villafuerte Flores. Present. Eh, Francisco Javier Orellana Ortiz. Present. Eh, Eddie José Álvarez Escobar. Eddie José. Gabriela Guadalupe Zamora, España. 
Gabriela María Peña. Eh, Gerson Vinicio Moreno Funes. Present. Glen, Glendy Allison Flores Ramírez. Present. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. I'm here. Thank you. Eh, Jonathan Vladimir Salinas Alberto. Present. Eh, Carla Liliana Portillo Constante. Carla Tatiana Villanueva Serrano. Eh, presente. Catherine Yasmín Guatemala. Presente. Eh, Luisa Ariana Guerra Cáceres. Presente. Margarita Elizabeth Panameño Guzmán. Presente. Eh, Mayra Patricia Pérez de García. Present. Eh, Norlin Jaciel Flores Reyes. Norlin Jaciel Flores Reyes. Noé Alberto Casadilla Herrera. Presente. Wendy Patricia Chavarría Ayala. Wendy Patricia. Okay, guys, let's see here together the possible answers that we have selected for each part of this um, exercises, and you will help me to respond that right now. So look at the first one here, and let's move this out here. Okay, let's try now that I can see all of you. And also, congratulations, guys, for having the camera on. It's important to see you. Um, look at that. Okay, get up. I get up. What is the next word that we need here? At six. At, at six. Yes, at six. And then in, in, in the, the morning. morning. Yes, in the morning. That's correct. In the morning. On. Y la siguiente? On, 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 on weekdays. On weekdays. Correct. Okay, I get up at six in the morning on weekdays. We have the first one. Excellent. Look at the number two. I go to bed until midnight. Until, until, midnight. Midnight. until midnight. On week. On, on, on week, yeah, weeknight. <laughs> on weeknight. So I go to bed. Okay. Good. Until midnight on weeknights. That's the de madrugada. ¿Cómo se dice? It's early. You can say in the morning or earlier. Earlier. Also, there is another word in English that we can use, especially when we're talking about, as we can call in English, eh, madrugada. En inglés le llaman también como early morning. Now morning, or also también down. Hay otro que es, hay una palabra que es down, que es como amanecer, que es esto. Look at the chat. Bueno, gracias. Here, so that will be early morning or down into. Um, well, that will be for this one. I start work at 11.30. No. The next one. Vamos con la número tres, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es la tres? Three. At 11.30. At 11.30. At night. At night. night. Okay, so both would be at, at right? At night? At, at 11.30 at night. Yes? Yes. Okay, thank yes. you. <laughs> Okay, number four. I have lunch at three. At, at three, three. In, in the afternoon on Fridays. Fridays. Oh, Fridays. interesting. I have lunch at three in the afternoon on Fridays. On okay, Fridays. fantastic. I have lunch at three in the afternoon on Fridays. That's valuable. That, is, that will be for the number four here. Look at the number five. I just stayed up. On weekends. Okay. 
I stayed, I stayed up at one on weekends. Yes. And the number six. Help me with the number six. I have a snack at night. I have a little snack in the evening. In the evening. Okay, in the evening. All right. So I have a little snack at night. Okay, in the evening. All right. Okay, good. In the evening. And the last but not the least, I sleep. At noon, around noon, 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 on Sundays. On Sundays. Okay. On on Sundays. Sundays. Yes, yeah. so on Sundays. That's the word. That's the word that we are looking for. So we are approaching this part. Okay, questions about this? Sí, teacher. Uh, yo tengo una pregunta acá uh, porque no entiendo realmente. Veo que hay como uh, diferentes reglas. No todo se aplica igual. A los tiempos, ¿cómo mm -hmm. puedo o dónde puedo averiguar o, eh, cuál es la regla a seguir acá? Porque, por ejemplo, en the morning, en the evening, en the afternoon es lo mismo, pero si es de noche, cambia. Ah, no sé si hay una regla que seguir o solo simplemente que memorizar eso. Sí, no hay reglas, sino que ya están establecidos para que es, por ejemplo, usamos at más que todo para horas, para tiempos. Por ejemplo, yo digo, al, cuando es de horas, a las 7, a las 8, a las 9, usamos at. At night también se ocupa bastante, at night, eh, como el que está acá. Entonces, uh -huh. es de ley, ¿verdad? Luego tenemos los demás, que son around, early, late, que son más que todo como preposiciones de, de tiempo, ¿verdad? Eh, para decir en la mañana, en la tarde o en la noche, decimos in. In the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon. Y para días de semana que es on. Si sí hay información también que le puede servir para esto. Puedo compartirles un enlace donde hay algunos ejemplos que les puedan servir a ustedes. Se los puedo compartir por el grupo. Ah, ok. Perfecto. Gracias. You're welcome. Yes, yeah, somebody has a raise hand. Yes. Coach. Hi. Yo quisiera saber si nos puede dar más ejemplos donde vayan at. Of course, I can do that. Yo, yo tenía una pregunta, quizás es similar, sobre, he visto que a veces para referirnos a algún lugar se usa el at y otras veces el in. Entonces, no sé si es indiferente o se usa de una forma para ciertos lugares y de otra para otros. Esos, esos se llaman eh, pre, eh, preposiciones de lugar, prepositions of place. Entonces, eh, por lo general, estas prepositions of place van encaminadas como, por ejemplo, on, cuando decimos sobre. Eh, luego tenemos at. Eh, si es como en este caso es una preposición de lugar. At school, at the park, at the mall. Entonces, eh, van enfocadas a eso. A, a, a lugares pero este que estamos viendo nosotros va enfocado a tiempo y les voy a mostrar tiempo. un ejemplo that I have here for you guys un momentito, one second ok, time expressions uh, me dicen si estoy compartiendo o no 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 uh, creo que esto no en whatsapp let me see es que I try to use the ones that I have here but como que no me salen quiero ver pregunta one second so prepositions prepositions time creo que está acá no sé si lo pueden ver un segundito Okay, please uh, check the, the the microphone. Check the micro microphone, please. Okay, let me have access to this one because I don't know, but I cannot share directly here. So one second. I think this is gonna be very helpful. 
Ok, creo que desde acá sí lo puedo compartir. Un momentito. Yes, I think it's much better than the ones that I have. Como sabemos, ya las time expressions ya están establecidas, ¿verdad? No es algo que, que tiene alguna regla, sino que ya es establecido solo para que usted los estudie. Entonces, eh, ahorita se los comparto acá. Ok, solo denme un segundito y me dicen si lo pueden eh, visualizar porque it has to be visible for all of you guys. Ok, can you see it now? Yes. Yes. Ok, at the end we could. Ok, so we have here some time expressions and we have in at the end, for example, in eh, we can use it in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. También se ocupa para los, los meses. En enero, en diciembre, en March, en April, en June. Para los años, in the 19s, en los 90s, in the 20s, in the 70s, in the 20th century, in the past, in the future, in 15 years time, in the Christmas holiday, in two hours. So we can use this one for time expressions. And, and then we have on, para referirnos a los, um, como les decíamos, día de la semana, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Friday, on Saturday. And also we have uh, on the 10th, on January 3rd. Si ustedes se fijan, usábamos in para referirnos al mes. Por ejemplo, digo in January, en enero. In March, cuando solo es el mes, yo voy a poner in. Pero cuando va el mes y va un número, entonces ya no vamos a utilizar in, sino que vamos a utilizar on. On January 3rd, on April 6th, on March 27th, on June 4th, on December 24th, etc. Y pues ahí decimos on the first day, on the last day, on my birthday. No va a decir usted in my birthday, on my birthday, on Christmas day, on East day, on holiday, porque estos van enfocados como el tiempo, ¿verdad? Como para decir el domingo, el lunes. On my wedding day, on that day, on Saturday night, on a summer evening. Ahí ustedes pueden estudiar esos ejemplos. Uh, you can study because it's about practice. And also we have the next, that is at. At 10 o'clock, porque ya cuando hablamos de, de tiempo, entonces cuando hablamos de tiempo vamos a utilizar at. At 10 o'clock. At midday, al mediodía, you know. At noon, al mediodía. At dusk, at down, at night. Ahí decía, ahí está el up down, que es como el, el amanecer. At night, at the weekend, at Christmas, at Easter, at the moment, at that time. At the beginning, at the end, at breakfast, and at dinner time. So those are the, the, the common time expressions in this case. It's about that we practice. So, entonces, lo que tiene que hacer, pues, estudiarlas, eh, cuando usarlas, porque ya están establecidas. Solo es de que usted las, las practique, you know, in a real conversation, and you can do that. Okay, in, in April, in June, in, on June 26th, in the morning, at dinner time, at breakfast. So you can also use that for this is examples. Questions? Thank you. All right, it's okay, thank you guys. Okay, let's continue with the other examples. So remember that it's, it's very valuable to use them and especially when we're talking about time. Let's continue. Sorry. Okay, we go back to the previous exercise. Now that we know this time, and also we have expressing clock time, seven, seven o'clock, 7 a.m., seven in the morning, 7 p.m., seven in the evening. 
¿Qué significaba cuando usamos o clock? ¿Quién se acuerda qué significaba? En punto. En punto, en punto right? En punto. So it's a clock. Muy bien. So we can do that, right? So we do it all clock. Perfect, perfect. I like that. I like that. Super. Vamos con la siguiente. Re rewrite the sentences in part A so that they are true for you. Then compare with the partner. Entonces, vamos a, vamos a trabajar, vamos a preguntar y responder estas que están acá. What days do you get up early and late? Usted se va a unir con los breaker rooms y va a socializar estas preguntas con sus compañeros. Por ejemplo, le puedo decir a Jennifer, Jennifer, what day do you get up early? And what days do you get up late? Oh, I get up early um, on Mondays to Fridays. Okay, at um, 5 a.m. or 6 a.m., etc. What are two things you do before 8 in the morning? Well, first, I have breakfast. And the second one, I brush my teeth and I organize some documents or files in the company. Or I have a meeting with my boss or I do some activities before that. Um, what are three things you do on Saturday's morning? Uh, the three things, I wake up early, I clean the house, I cook, I take a shower, I wash my clothes or I go to the gym or I go to English class. So we can discuss about that. What do you do only on, on Sundays? I go to church in, on Sundays or I have a meeting with some friends or I go out to a tourist attraction. So we can talk about that. Entonces vamos a formar los break rooms y usted va a compartir estas preguntas y las respuestas con sus grupos. Yes. Okay, so for that reason, let's work with the breakout rooms. And we have some members here. So I think we'll be better. Okay. Like this. Uh, four. Okay, vamos a crear los breakout rooms. Y ustedes estén atentos para accesar and start speaking in English. Remember that the goal is that at least we can try to say something in English. You can use a dictionary, you can use a translator in order to speak English. La idea es que usted trate de, en estos espacios, de practicar inglés lo más que pueda. Let's go. Por ejemplo, eh, what day do you get up early or late? Mm, Ajá, eso estaba de esos. La, la, de la literal C. Sí. Pero hay que contestarla, o como dice. Ajá, hay um, que contestarla con nuestra información. Yes. And don't forget to have the camera on. En la primera donde dice, what day do you get up early 
que es como qué días te levantas temprano y luego late eh, tarde, ¿verdad? Tarde, ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. En la segunda, eh, what are you think do, you do before eight in the morning? Eh, como que cosas tú como, haces. ¿Qué cosas? Como dos cosas que uno hace antes de las ocho de la mañana. Antes de las ocho de la mañana, ¿Qué? correcto. Permiso, eh, una pregunta. ¿Qué dijeron que significaba late? Es tarde. Tarde. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ajá. Y luego, las dos que dijeron are... ah perdón perdón este como que dos cosas que haces ¿Que tú? antes ajá que tú haces antes de las 8 de la mañana uh -huh. ajá. y la tercera what are three things you do on Saturday morning um, tres cosas que tú haces eh, los sábados eh, por la mañana. Uh -huh. uh, okay. cuarta, la cuatro, la cuatro. What do you do eh, only on Sunday? Eh, ¿Qué haces tú? ¿Cómo qué hace uno en todo el domingo o únicamente el domingo? Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, eh, um, por ejemplo, en el domingo, eh, I work este, all day. Si gusta practicar una primero haciéndole las preguntas y otra contestando y, y o sea, que nos dividamos. Mm -hmm, está bien. Eh, por ejemplo, alguien que me, alguien me puede preguntar ahorita a mí, porque ya ahorita contesté la así cada uno. Oh, ok, va, yo le pregunto. Eh, what days do you get up early? Late? Eh, every day, because I my work. No, como, como es. Eh, Qué bien me levanto temprano. Every day. Because, uh, ¿cómo le digo? Yo trabajo. I work. Because I work. A las dos. Uh, what are two? Um, what are two? Ah, y también falta, falta. O, 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 este falta qué días me levanto tarde vea mm -hmm. late bueno aquí sería never va <risa> 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 okay uh, what are two thing do you before eight in, in the morning uh, cook cook the food Okay. And what are what are three things you do on Saturday morning? For example, uh, wash the wash the clothes, uh, clean the house, for example. Mm -hmm. Or go to the shores or go to the park with your family. For example, a thing, a thing, what do you do only on Sunday? I visit my family. Okay. Okay, another else key. And you heard some, what days do you get up early? 
I get up early every day. Every day. Uh, and late. Almost Sunday. Only Sunday. Okay. The rest of the or the days of the week, always uh, get up early. And what are two things you do before eight in the morning? Uh, sometimes I prepare my my breakfast. Uh, I prepare a, a coffee. Um, another thing. Uh, Sometimes uh, I go to 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 jogging. Sometimes, sometimes two or three times on the week. Okay, number three. Okay, what are three things you do on Saturday morning? Saturday morning. Uh, um, almost I do I do the same. I do the same I in the morning, Saturdays. Sometimes I I I I went I go I, I went to the to jogging jogging or work up or I do a little exercise for example. Only that. Okay. No. Okay, so look at this part. So congratulations for the practice. I have seen some groups discussing a little bit um, about the exercises that we have done. And I really like it because you were speaking in English all the time and I really like it because that's one of the ways. Uh, no matter about the vocabulary that we're learning in every single class, we speak the language. That's good. We have a short reading about that. So I want you to follow me in this reading. Why do you need a job? That is the question. Seeing the profiles and who is the high school and who is in college and who is, in the, is a new parent. We have this one. Look at the Teresa Glass. I don't have time to work, but I need a job because college is very expensive. I study art and I have class all day on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And on Tuesday, and Thursday morning. I usually study on weekends. I don't have any experience, but I can learn quickly. This is about Teresa. Look at the next one. Vemos algunos datos importantes because she needs a job, because she's in college. 
and also it's very expensive. She needs some money to continue college. Look at the second one, uh, Karen Thomas. Oh, my husband and I have a new baby. He makes a good salary, but we don't save very much money. We want to save some money to buy a house. I take care of the baby, so I need a job. I can do at home. I know how to type and I have a computer. So look at this one. It's a, uh, Karen says that she has a new, she has a baby and she makes a good salary. So she has a good job, but uh, we don't, we don't save much money. So one of the goals for Karen is to save money. And also we have Le Leymark Andrews. I'm 16 now and I don't get an allowance. In Spanish, allowance for us is una mesada. Una mesada es como que tus padres te dan dinero para que tú lo gastes en lo que tú quieras. So that is what we call allowance. From my parents anymore. So he, do, he doesn't have. And I need to earn some money because I like to go out on, on the weekend with my friends. I go to school every day from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. My father owns a restaurant, so I know a little about restaurant work. Entonces vemos ahí que, pues, he doesn't have money, but he needs to earn some money because he likes to go out on weekends, on the weekends. I go to school every day from 9 to 3.30 p.m. And my father owns a restaurant, so I know a little about restaurant work. Okay, de acuerdo a esto, we had to check the article. Vamos a ver, ustedes me van a ayudar a responder este before completing. Uh, I need to move this. Read the article and why do these people need jobs and check the correct boxes. To save money. ¿Quién de los tres needs to save money? Everybody. Karen. Una pregunta. En este caso, ¿qué quiere? Perdón. Este, ¿Qué quiere decir la palabra save? Porque yo, yo entiendo ahorrar. que salvar. Ahorra, sí, ahorrar. Ah, oh, ahorrar. Gracias. Ajá. Entonces sería Karen. ¿Alguien más necesita Karen Thomas. Eh, Karen Thomas a la Andrews. Andrews. Yes, yes, porque necesita salir, right? He needs, yes. uh, I need to earn some money. And, ok. Next one. Eh, to earn money for college. Teresa Glass. Oh, Teresa Glass. Oh, Teresa Glass, okay. Yes, she needs some money for college because college is very expensive, according to what she says. Go out on the weekend. Lamar. Lamar, Lamar, Lamar Andrews. Okay, Lamar, Lamar Andrews. Okay. He needs to go out with his friends. He needs to have a good time. And, uh, me too, me too. <laughs> yeah, definitely all of us. Karim. And to buy a house. Karen, Karen Thomas. Thomas. Karen Thomas. Wants to buy a house and also in the United States, houses are very, very expensive. So look at that one. So that's why people need some jobs and also they have some needs uh, for that one. When you were kids, did you used to have allowance? When you were kids, did you used to have allowance? When eran niños, tenían alguna mesada? No. No. Yes. Oh. Okay. No, no much. No much, right? No. So, aquí tenemos $5 para el fin de semana. I give you $5. No parents used to give some allowance kids. When I was a kid, I used to have an allowance. Uh, my father used to give us some money on, on Sundays. O sea, todos los domingos nos daban una mesada cuando éramos niños. We got were lucky in that case. What's not too hey, much? Great for you. Yeah, pero no era mucho. Eran para unos dulces, for candies or some snacks. It's like a no big deal. But it was good. If be, before was colon, eh, abundar, I don't, I don't know what you ah, said. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Having, having colones were good because were cheap. The products were cheap with colones. Yes, yes. Yes, I know that. Okay, students, eh, thank you so much. Just before that we conclude, I just want to um, encourage you to complete the exercises. Recuerden que tenemos que terminar la, lec la lección 1 y 2 eh, y nos veríamos hasta el próximo 
lunes, right? So tomorrow is the date off. And also see you on Monday. And don't forget to study and complete the exercises. Thank you so much, guys, for this time. And from oh, now on, have an Only, solo tengo una pregunta, teacher, una pregunta antes de finalizar. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Pregunta antes de finalizar. Eh, ¿Las tareas o, uh, van por semana o no hay fecha específica para hacerlas? ¿O las puede hacer haciendo a diario? Eh, que aparecen los test que aparecen en la plataforma. Sí, les, ya revisaron el grupo. Ahí, ahí les dice, creo, las fechas. No sé si les, se les han mandado. Creo que sí. Esto yes. es, ¿Verdad que ahí están? Si ahí están, ahí, okay. ahí va diciendo, por ejemplo, el cada grupo. semana. Sí, ahí ah, va okay, diciendo cada okay. semana eh, lo que nos corresponde. Por ejemplo, la semana 1, que es completar la sección 1 y 2. La semana 2, completar la sección 3 y mil. Ah, ok, ¿sí? ok. Ahí vamos. Entonces. Es por semana, entonces, sí. Por semana. Pero igual. Sí, sí, pueden... no, 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 no lo había leído. Por eso estaba preguntando. Okay. All right. Okay, That's thank good. you. Ok, guys. Have a nice nine and see you next class. Bye, bye. See you Hi, Monday. everybody. Bye. Bye. See you Monday. Bye. See you Monday. See you Monday.